Barrios a perfect 13-0. Vitas coming in at 18-4. Barrios with a height advantage, and look at the reach difference. Barrios with eight inches on Vitas. Vitas also five years older than the unbeaten Barrios. For the official introductions, let's go now to arena announcer Michael C. Williams. From the AT&T Center in San Antonio, live on NBCSN, Premier Boxing Champions now features eight rounds in the lightweight division. The three judges at ringside, Joel Elizondo, with Fredo Esperon and Glenn Feldman, and the referee in charge of the action, Gregorio Alvarez. And now, first introducing the red corner. He wears the white. He brings a professional record of 18 wins with four losses, 11 victories coming by way of knockout from Panama City, Panama, presenting Manuel Vides. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the red, trimmed in gold. As a professional, he stands undefeated at 13-0, seven wins coming by way of knockout from San Antonio, Texas, introducing Mario, El Nino de Oro Barrios. All right, listen up, gentlemen. You've both been given the pre-fight rules. I want to see a clean fight. I want to see those punches above the belt line. When I call break, you break, protect yourselves, touch gloves, and step back. We are all ready to get started here in San Antonio. For the call, let's go ringside to Kenny Rice and BJ Flores. Kenny? All right, thanks, Paul. Barrios, a lot of attention on this young man, not just because he lives about 20 minutes away from the AT&T Center here in San Antonio, but because he has started off like gangbusters, BJ. Yeah, he's one of those prospects that it's very easy to like and get behind. 13-0, six knockouts, this kid can really fight, and he's got the type of frame where he can move up and fill out in, uh, in bigger divisions, Kenny. Very exciting. As you see, he is a tall kid. Six feet, he said he had a late growth spurt. He hopes to eventually move up to welterweights. First things first, he's fighting in Vita as a man who fought for a world title in the flyweight division just a little over a year ago. Vita is going to learn that that's a big jump from the fly to flyweight division to where he's at now. But, uh, you know, Barrios is the type of kid that is very composed, very calm on the outside, can get it done in a number of different ways. On the inside, standing up range of boxing, and uh, he's just fun to watch. Nice right. Fighter can't be saved by the bell in any round. And Barrios comes in here with 13 wins, just over half of those seven by way of knockout. And he has had some devastating knockouts already. He has. He knows how to set those punches up nicely, Kenny. And, you know, the main reason why is because he really knows how to attack and invest in the body. And when he does that, it makes his opponents very susceptible to uh, big headshots. And Vitas, he told us yesterday at the fighting meeting, he doesn't know much about this guy, except that he's a tough kid, that he's won a lot. He's won 18, actually, Vitas has. And that the Panamanian has had a chance to fight for a world title. That's always impressive, no matter what level. It is. Big, bo big body shots by Barrios a second ago. You saw him really pound on the right side of the rib cage of Vitas and followed it right back up with another assault downstairs. And he's having a lot of success with that right now, Kenny. To the left and to the right, he works the body. And that's what Barrios told us yesterday at that fighter meeting. I really don't worry about the opponent much. I will adapt quickly and so far he has he's felt his opponent out and just a little over two minutes into this fight he's landed some strong blows nice digging punches of the body kenny takes a little step out comes with that nice overhand right over the guard of vides and uh he's really been successful with those, those heavy punches in the first round break He's definitely gotten Vitas' attention so far, so he's landed some big shots. He's done some good things. I like how he's staying calm and composed and just looking for more opportunities to punish Vitas. Done a nice job of moving out and in in this fight already. We see six foot tall. I think he told us he was 6'1 in the fighter meetings. We've got to get a measuring tape out and actually see how tall he is because you know, there's a little bit of a discrepancy on that. But either way, he's tall for this division, and he's got some great leverage on those punches. He's moved from bantamweight to featherweight, super featherweight. Eventually, like he said, he wants to be at welterweight. Right now, he's just enjoying this perfect streak that he is on. And that's natural for a kid of his age. He's only 20. When I was 20, I was fighting at 178. That was uh, a lot of pounds ago, Kim. So it, uh, it happens with these young fighters. Final seconds of round one. Mario Barrios, the local favorite here, 
starting off strong as he was expected to do against a veteran fighter in Venus. Kenny Rice, BJ Flores. BJ, we're talking about Barrios, the attention he's getting because he is a guy that has so much potential and he's already delivered some big punches, not just in this fight, but throughout his young career. Yeah, he's got one of those styles, Kenny, that's really easy to get behind. This kid, he's got a very big frame like we discussed earlier, and he just, he's got a lot of potential with those combinations, that long range, and he hurts people in a number of different ways. You see the left hook, he got it going there. He scored some spectacular knockouts already in his career, and that's kind of what's got people excited because traditionally in divisions like this, the kids aren't punching like uh, like uh, Mario says. So it creates a lot of excitement, very big frame, the sky's the limit. There's his corner, his respected trainer, Bob Santos. Use your jab, don't force the punches, let him come. Telling us yesterday, he thinks it'll be a long time before he gets beat because of body work like this. Yeah, good stuff from Barrios in the first round. And you see both sides of the body, Kenny, not just one side. And that really creates a whole nother level of uh, offense for him because he can punish his opponent on both sides. And Bob Santos, not one given to hyperbole, but he was excited about the potential that he has in this fighter because he's so he said he learns so quickly and he's able to use the body and use that length that he has on these opponents right now as we're seeing so far. I saw Bob at the airport yesterday and I said, hey, uh, who are you most excited about right now? And he said, Mario Barrios, this kid's going a long ways. Steve Farhood with us. Glad to have him as always. Our historian and unofficial score gives that first round to Barrios. Also with us, Hall of Fame referee Steve Smoger at the ready should we need any questions about any technicalities as this fight or the rest of the fights unfold tonight. I love the commitment that Barrios is showing to the body, digging both, si both sides of it. And, uh, you know, every time he's done, he'll take a little half step back, shoot a little soft jab, and then dig again downstairs. His body to head ratio is very high towards the body. Nice job as he flicks out the left again. He'll work that jab and take advantage of the height and reach that he has. Hurt him with that right hand. And he hurt him. Behind that double jab. Very nice. And, and like we mentioned earlier, when you go to the body so much, it opens up the head. And uh, Barrios is good proof of that. Digs in again right to the midsection and comes back to the left. Barrios coming from every angle right now on Vitas. A lot of leverage on those punches too, Kenny. You think, hey, he's tall, he's skinny, he can't punch. Wrong. He's getting his hips, his waist, and his entire body into all those shots, and it's really having a nice effect on Vitas. Break! Step back! It's the first time Let's that Vitas has fought outside, or the second time he's actually fought outside of his home country. The first time he's fought in the U.S., 21 of his 22 fights have been in Panama. The only one that wasn't was when he went to Argentina and lost the flyweight championship that he was trying to take away from Juan Rebeco. That was in March 2014. But you see the toughness, and that's why this is a good fight right, for Barrios, right. because he's right. got a guy in front of him who isn't giving much back because of the offense of Barrios, but he's still hanging around, and uh, Barrios is going to have to stay on his game plan. Well, Vitas, a tough fighter, comes in here with an 18-4 and four record, 11 of those by way of knockout. Certainly don't expect him to have the power that Barrios has, but he does have some skills, obviously, and uh, he does have some smarts in the ring, and we'll see how that unfolds as this fight goes on if Barrios can't put him away early if he gets a little frustrated. it would be interesting. I like what Barrios is doing here in the second round. Just kind of nice and calm, looking for opportunities to counter shot Vidas instead of just always being so offensive. And uh, it's working out nice for him in this round. And you see Vidas isn't going to you know, kill you with the beauty. He's not one of those beautiful fighters to watch, but he's a guy who's going to be there. And, uh, you know, he gets inside and <laughs> has, has Barrios is teeing off on him. And Barrios made him pay. He got in too close on Barrios. He didn't like that, and he is unloaded on him. Vita's taking some good shots here. Power punches here for Mario Barrios, looking strong in round two. Some very good work by Barrios in that last round. You see him cranking up that left hook to the head, landing some good shots. And throughout the round, Kenny, you know, he really punished Vitas to the body. Beautiful left uppercut to the body, brings back the left up top, lowers the guard of Vitas first, and then punishes him with the uh, second shot. And it's just nice stuff from such a young kid. Me first. The 20-year-old Barrios from San Antonio made his pro debut at the age of 18. That was November of 2013. Manuel Vides, 25 years old from Panama City, Panama. His sixth year as a pro. Round three scheduled for eight. And I love the corner instruction from Bob Santos in the corner of Barrios. Hey, listen, when you're inside, take a step to the side, all right? Get an, get an angle and punish him with that punch. Don't stand in the middle.
Mario is very selective with his punches and has really learned to shoot which punch at what particular time. And continues to make it difficult on Vitas, who's trying to get inside, take away some of that reach and height advantage, but he's not been able to do so, BJ. That's tough. He's uh, worried about getting hit on his way in, Kenny. So, um, you know, Barrios is really, uh, you know, comfortable in there. You can see that. He's comfortable on the inside, but his punch selection is what's really impressed me so far. He shoots the right punch at the right time, and it's, uh, it's working for him. Vitas again trying to make a close end fight. Barrios landed 59 power punches, 59% of his power punches through the first two rounds, according to CompuBox. So as you said, he has been very effective when he decides to make a punch, he has made it count. And another reason why he's got such a high percentage uh, of, of connected punches is because he goes to the body so much, Kenny. When you do that, the body doesn't move, and it's easy to land the headshots after you commit to the body. There you see the body shots right here. Barrios, 20 to 5 advantage on Vitas. Vitas hasn't really gotten in close enough to hurt with any of his body shots. <laughs> and it's something in the water about these guys in Texas, Kenny Figueroa, Barrios, all these guys really know how to commit to the body, and uh, they just really teach them at an early age. Body is where it's at. And Mario, who has chosen the nickname Golden Boy. Wonder who his favorite fighter was <laughs> growing up. Says he'd like to be like De La Hoya one day and win that belt. Well, I'm not sure who, if there's a better guy out there to you know try to target and follow. Oscar was one of my favorite fighters. And you know, watching Oscar when he won the gold medal at 132 to you know winning his first world championship at 130, then 135, 140. He really tore through the weight divisions and uh, he fought everybody. You can say whatever you want about Oscar, but he did fight everybody and put on some great fights. Mario says he delivers a good left. And now is punishing Vitas. Vitas hanging in there. But Barrios landing some of his best punches now. And this is what Bob Santos is talking about. He's got him against the ropes. He has nowhere to go. Take a step off to the side and create an angle for another punch. And uh, get your opponent out of there. Vitas is in trouble here, Ken. Vitas stunned, but he's able to get off the ropes momentarily. Now right back on him and going right back to work is Barrios. Final seconds of round three. Barrios with a good left. And he stings Vitas once again. A good left again at the bell. Some of the effective work in the last round by Barrios cranking up that left hook, and he had Vitas in trouble several times throughout the round, Kenny, but the culprit was that left hook. He found a way to land that punch, committed early to the body, and uh, you know, really had a very high connect percentage and did a lot of damage in that round. And like you say, BJ, the body, you start working on that, it makes a huge difference. He has been pounding last away round, since the round. first round and just getting stronger okay, as okay, Barrios as we start round four, scheduled for eight. Will Vitas and the White be able to make a recovery after taking some big punishment late in that third round? I think the referee thought that was the last round because he was trying to have both fighters touch gloves and uh, neither one of them were having it. You having see, it. you look at Barrios there, 118 thrown, 68 landed. He continues at an impressive percentage of landing his punches. Very easy to land those headshots when you, when you hurt your guy to the body and Barrios knows that very well. He has committed very nicely and is doing some very good work. Barrios, six of his seven knockouts have been in four rounds or less. Fight. And here he is in round four, and he looks like he's getting stronger. A lot of snap on that jab. All of his punches, he gets great leverage in. You know, if I'm Vito's, and every time I shoot my left jab out, Barrio slips to the other side and shoots that right uppercut. I'm going to taunt it. I'm going to feign it. I'm going to do something to make him slip, and then I'm going to hit him with my right hand. So things for Vitas to think about. Throw some taunts and feints out there and make Barrios commit to something and try to get yourself into this fight. But you see the toughness from Vitas, too. He was badly hurt in that last round. Staggered back to his corner, Kenny. Didn't look like he might not even answer round three and uh, comes out here in the beginning of this round and still looking to land punches. Yeah, they were checking on him in that corner. But Vitas is right back out there. And again, I think the question might be, still obviously a long way to go just in this round. And we know the quick punishment that Barrios can deliver. Yeah, that left hook is really something. He, get, he gets a lot of leverage on that punch. And, you know, the body attack does a couple things. Not only does it open up the headshots and make your opponent susceptible, it also takes gas out of the tank. Those guys, you can't take body shots like that for eight rounds. And uh, Barrios is letting Vidas know, I don't want this fight to make it all, all eight rounds. 
Benavides keeps hanging in. I wonder if that frustrates Barrios at times. He's thinking, I've thrown a lot of punches and some good ones at this guy. I think he's content. You see the style. He doesn't look like he's really loading up. I think he just naturally has good leverage. So um, I don't think the stamina is going to be an issue, and I think he's going to be perfectly content to land these all eight rounds if it goes that far. His father, Martin, got Mario into boxing at a young age here in Texas. He had 95 amateur fights, winning 85 of those. Beautiful right hand a second ago, Kenny, by Barrios. He disguised it behind the double jab, landed those shots, put the right hand right down the middle, and caught Vitas very clean. Final seconds, round four. Barrio still in control. Vitas still hanging tough. Back live here in San Antonio, Mario Barrios taking on Manuel Vitez as we look at the action here. And we're looking at how he set this punch up. He blinded Vitez with a double jab and lands a nice right hand. Traditionally, this isn't what he has been doing to land the punches, but he's doing it in a number of different ways, Kenny, from the outside and the inside. Very effective. And Barrios looking good in every round. Vitez is still hanging right in there with him, though. And two rounds ago, it looked like he might be done. He received so many big blows right at the end of the round and against the ropes, but uh, Vitas is hanging tough. Barrios winning that last round unofficially from Steve Farhood. He is 10-9 all the way across the board through the first four. Barrios very good on the inside, Kenny. Very strong, good assortment of punches, but you saw a second ago the double jab in the right hand. Me, as a fighter, I like to see guys land punches like that because you're not even really in harm's way too much when you're shooting something from that far of range. And then you pick your spots to go inside and punish your guy, then slide back out, hit him with that double jab right hand. Very good. And BJ, he has chosen wisely, landing 55% of his power punches. Barrios in this now going into the fifth round. That's how effective he has been, as high as around 60% at some times in this fight. And that's a lot of punches. Can you think about the number he's shooting? It's not like he's out there shooting 20, 30 punches around. When you're landing 60% and you're shooting as many as Barrios, those are good numbers. <laughs> He is connected on almost as many as Vitas is thrown. There's only about a 20 punch difference there. And if you're in the corner of Vitas, you want to tell him, listen, you know, he's beating us on the inside. He's beating us on the outside. What do we got to do to beat him? Um, you know, taunt him and fade him a little bit. You know, Barrios is kind of doing some of the similar things, the same things every time Vitas shoots a punch. And, you know, taunt him and fade him out of position and see if that can, uh, you know, get you a little momentum. Because so far, nothing's working, Kenny. No, nothing at all so far for Vitas. The only thing we can say, he is incredibly tough because he took some punishment two rounds ago right at the end of the round. David came over and took a look at him to make sure he was okay to continue the doctor did. Good idea by the referee, but, you know, if you're, like I said, in the corner of Vitas, every time he shoots that left jab, Barrios is kind of going to his right and coming back with that counter. So, um, you know, you got to use things like that. If your opponent's giving you that, he's going to show you that every time. Punish him when he does it. Vitas sneaking in a nice punch of his own, his best one, and it appears to have angered Barrios. <laughs> Beautiful short right hand by Barrios a second ago. And, you know, he's just really effective in there. You see him using the measure, creating distance, looking to land the big shot off of the measure, and just a lot of veteran moves. Break, Barrios here. came right back Break. after that. Wait a minute. Don't hit me. <laughs> he, he heard us talking about Vitas, and he said, you know what? Not today. Again, digging into the body. Barrios, he has been so effective in there and coming upstairs with that left. Nice veteran move. You see Vitas shoot that little right uppercut. Barrios rolls with it, comes back with the right hand and the left hook. For this, his 14th pro fight. A lot of poise and polish shown by Mario Barrios here. And a good right straight in on Vitas as the round comes to an end. With Vitas, he has done all the work here, Barrios, but Vitas keeps hanging in. You see Barrios in the replay, Kenny. He slid back from the lunging right hand of Vitas and countered him with his own right. Good stuff and a nice balance. And it's clearly been Barrios' fight from the start of this. And goes down now. Vitas is floored by Barrios. Got Five, him with the left. Six, seven. Can he get back up? Eight, nine, ten. It's over. Mario Barrios with a thundering left to go to 14 and 0. And Vitas had taken a lot of punishment throughout the whole fight, Kenny. Barrios put it all together in the beginning of that round. And you know what punch was it? Of course, the left hook. 
He couldn't miss all night. <laughs> and we talked about his knockouts. When he knocks people out, he really knocks them out. He does, and you like to see that in a 130-pound weight class, a, a, a division where traditionally guys don't go down face first. And here he is, B.J. Barrios. And there's that shot, beautiful right uppercut. And what's he do? He cleans up the work with the left hook on the temple. Vita is already affected by the right uppercut. Barrios punishing him with that shot. The left hook right again on the temple there. Good stuff from Barrios and just a nice combination from a very uh, good up and coming prospect. I love how he commits to the body. And again, another look. And the poise that Barrios has, along with the power that he has, very impressive, BJ. It is. And you saw the way Vidas fell. He was really out before he hit the ground. So, um, you know, that kind of uh, power to separate a guy from his senses, it's always exciting in this division. Vidas had taken some shots and hung in as long as he could. But in the end, it's Mario Barrios winning it. His eighth time by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 31 seconds into round number six. The winner by knockout, Mario El Nino de Oro Barrios.